Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Copilot Studio for Beginner Series. In our previous episodes, we showed you how you can create an agent in Copilot Studio under 10 minutes and then extend it by using tools to enable your agent to perform specific actions. My name is Milan Kaur and in this episode, I am going to show you how you can consume an MCP server from within Microsoft Copilot Studio. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It is an open standardized way for language models to connect with external APIs, data sources, and tools. You could think of it as a USB-C port for AI applications. It lets your smart apps connect to any system in a consistent and a standardized way so that as a developer, you and I, we don't have to worry about how that communication happens under the hood. Now let's see how you can add an MCP server in Microsoft Copilot Studio. For this demo, I will be using an assistant that we have built already in our previous episodes. It's called Conference Room Assistant. This agent can help users find the conference room that fits the criteria for their meeting. Let's say I want to add an email sending capability to this agent and we'll use an MCP server to do so. Let's go to Tools tab. Here you'll see if you were following along our videos in the series that I already have two tools added for sending out emails. Since this video is about learning how to use model context protocol servers, I will go ahead and make sure that these are turned off. Here you can see that I have an email management MCP server already added for this demo, but I will show you how to add a new one. So click on add a tool. In addition to connectors, you will see model context protocol. Now MCP is generally available, so you should all see model context protocol tab in your Copilot Studio instance. Here you can see a list of out of the box MCP servers that are available to us. In case you wanna build your own MCP server and want to add that to your agent in Microsoft Copilot Studio, I've added a link to a video in the description that teaches you just that. Now in the search bar, I will type email management. Don't bother about the spellings. <laughs> All right, so here is Office 365 Outlook Email Management MCP server. Let's click on that. Here you'll see that there's a connection mechanism. For Outlook MCP server, one needs to provide the credentials that you want your agent to use for sending out the emails. So I've already added that. Let's click on Add and Configure. You can use any string to give the name. Click on additional details. Now there are two details that you can modify. One is asking the end user before running an MCP server. I'm marking this as no. And the next is which credentials you want the agent to use. In this case, I want to use maker provided credentials. Now next is the tools area. Now this is where the magic of model context protocol happens. You can see that by just adding the MCP server to your agent, it already lists down all the capabilities that this MCP server exposes. I don't want to use all of them, so I will toggle this off and I'll turn off everything else that I don't need and keep the sending email capability turned on. Now let's click on save. All right, so I'll go back to the tools list. You can see that email management MCP server one has been added as one of the tools available to the conference room assistant. I'll go ahead and turn this off because I want to use the email management server that I had already added. Now it's time to test the agent. Let's say I ask the agent, can you suggest rooms with more than 15 seating capacity? On the left is the activity pane, which lists down all the steps that the agent is running in the background. Okay, here you can see that the agent has come back with a list of rooms that can seat more than 15 people. And it has also asked me if I'd like the information emailed to me. I'll go ahead and answer yes. and it is generating a plan. 
on the left, you can see that the email has been sent and this flow has been completed. Now let's take a closer look at the activity pane. The first step is initialization of an MCP server. When this happens, you can be rest assured that your agent has access to the MCP server that you have added in the tools. Next is the knowledge base search, where the agent is looking for the conference room in the knowledge source that you have attached to the agent. And the last step here is calling the email management MCP server for using its capability for sending an email. Also note that your agent identifies that it needs to send out an email and finds out the tool that can do this for the agent and automatically invokes the send email functionality exposed through email management MCP server. All right, so this is how we can add an MCP server to Microsoft Copilot Studio agents. If you want to check out more episodes from our series, I've added the link to the GitHub repo and the playlist in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye.